everybody and welcome to this episode of The Two Barties. In this episode we are going to be talking all about the all new Cougar plug-in hybrid. So before we discuss it in more detail, let's show you some pictures of the all new Cougar. <music> As you can see from those pictures, it's quite a departure in the new Cougar. It's gone away from being a utilitarian looking vehicle to a more stylish looking SUV. And that seems to be where the marketplace is going. But the biggest news is that plug-in hybrid engine. It's a 2.5 litre engine driven by a CVT gearbox. So it's essentially a one speed gearbox and it can produce 225 miles an hour. But that's not all, is it, James? What is one of the biggest things that you noticed about the plug-in Cougar? Well, it costs £35,000. OK. And it goes from 0 to 62 in 9.2 seconds. OK, but what was that figure that you went, oh my gosh, at? It can do 201 miles per gallon. Okay, and it's important to note that a plug-in hybrid vehicle is only going to give you that type of mileage if you are plugging it in at every given opportunity. There has been a lot of talk about plug-in hybrids and are they the most efficient? Well, to give you a little bit of an insight into the Cougar plug-in hybrid system, uh, this one is the the standard where it has an engine which powers the front wheels uh, but also has a battery pack as well which can power the vehicle as well some plug-in hybrids are also known as range extenders because of course they have a uh, an engine which only acts as a generator so this one can be driven just on petrol alone without plugging it in but if you do that with your plug-in hybrid you will get rid of all of the advantages of having a petrol and electric vehicle so top tip from the two parties is to plug this vehicle in at every given opportunity it works with all standard type 2 plugs um, takes a few hours of course if the battery is flat but you can charge the vehicle whilst driving it there are four drive modes in this vehicle to really get the most out of the battery one of them is the least efficient for fuel economy but you can put charge back into the battery if you have electric already there you can press the button again and choose the option where you save that battery power so you run just on the engine and then you have full electric mode where you'll kill the engine and go into full electric mode as well so a really sophisticated vehicle um, and that's part of the key technology it's linked to this CVT gearbox you have the dial in the middle to select your gear shift the same as you do in the Focus and it's actually based on the same Focus platform and that can only mean one thing for the handling Oh, it's going to be good? It is going to be good, it's absolutely going to be good. Based on the Focus platform um, it sits a little bit lower but the vehicle is a little bit longer and wider um, there's actually more room inside the new Cougar despite the way the styling looks um, but yes a great chassis on this vehicle as well so those driving dynamics are there um, quite a unique thing one of the other things will be the charging port as well that is handily popped on the uh, curb side wing so the near side wing and uh, you can charge that up uh, with a wall box or with public chargers and as I mentioned earlier it's a type 2 charger interior wise technology comes from the focus so there's lots of autonomy on the Cougar as well you have the updated sync 3 screen as well 
uh, which is probably one of the best in the marketplace right now. It's very intuitive, very easy to use system. It's not overly complicated. And of course you get such other options depending on the model you have, such as head up display, uh, autonomous parking, uh, autonomous braking. Uh, so it really is a great vehicle. But this vehicle is not alone in the marketplace. We have some competitors to think about as well, don't we, James? Mm -hmm. And who would those competitors be? Well, Mitsubishi to start off. With the Outlander. Yep. Uh, the first Mitsubishi ever to get a waiting list for that. Mm -hmm. And that's why I mentioned about plugging it in at every given opportunity. There's uh, an old wives' tale, I don't know how true it is, but people were buying the Mitsubishi Outlander because they got better benefit in kind taxation. So if I had it as a company car, I wouldn't have to pay as much. But instead of plugging the vehicle in, they were leaving it in the back of the car, taking the rebate on the tax and having basically a petrol SUV, which wouldn't be very good for the environment nor uh, for the cost of fuel. We will, of course, have Toyota. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So Toyota as well have just launched a plug-in hybrid version of the RAV4, so it'll be really interesting to see how that stacks up. It looks very similar in terms of the layout, in terms of how the powertrain is, a 2.5 litre engine and a CVT gearbox, so uh, that will come down to, to personal preference. And again, these vehicles are all about charging, and to give you an idea, if you have a 74 kilowatt wall box or a public charger you should be able to charge them up in around three and a half hours which may sound like a lot but when you're coasting and cruising as well that regeneration works whilst you're driving and you do have an L mode which can increase that as well so quite a lot of technology and this is going to be one of many Fords okay one of many Fords uh, to have electric power and hybrid power coming through and later on whether it's this series or a later series we hope to take a look at the all-electric Ford Mustang Mach-E. We are unanimous we like the styling of this it's got something vaguely Porsche and Audi about the styling in many ways looks much more premium than the previous Cougar. James is frowning there. I'm not sure he's quite a fully signed up member of that. So what do you think of the styling, James? Well, you said Porsche and Audi-esque. I, I can see Audi, but I can't see Porsche. More the, the headlight placements at the front reminded me a bit of a sort of a Macan type thing. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Okay, well, while we discuss the merits of the Cougar styling, please like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and we'll be back soon with another episode of The Two Barties. So from us, for now, it's goodbye.